Hello once again, SCF members. Got another mail day here. This time we have three in there along with one here that's actually an eBay auction. I'm actually going to go for the eBay auction here first. It's not TTM related, but it does relate to uh, stuff on SCF a little bit actually because uh, as you may notice, I am one of the baseball super collectors on the group on the on the board. And so I'm always on the lookout for oddball stuff of former Indians and White Sox and several other teams outfielders. What? Indians, White Sox, um, Blue Jays, Giants, and Dodgers. Outfielder, uh, played a little bit of shortstop as well. A member of Team USA in 1984, but uh, Corey Snyder. And so I'm always on the lookout for any kind of oddball stuff. That's about all I'm down to at this point. But uh, first item that I end up pulling here is... Uh, this one looks just like the ordinary, you know, 1988 Tops All-Star set, but, well, oddity, it is a blank front from there. So, you know, ordinary like that. Doesn't have the gloss there that the regular uh, All-Star set has, but still, kind of an interesting little piece there to uh, be able to get and add to the collection. A little eBay find right there, so cool to get that. But now, what you all came here to see. Let's go take a look at these TTMs. All right, first up, once again, we don't have a postmark on this one at all. See what we got out of it, though. All right, so this one is Rance Mullenix, the former Blue Jays infielder. Voila, there's some of those. If you read the uh, Brad Baluchian book recently called The Wax Pack, where uh, he opens a pack of 86 Topps cards and goes out on the road trying to meet every single player that he pulled from that pack, and... Uh, Mullenix was actually the first uh, player that he ended up meeting with. And so goes through there, interviews the players, gets to spend a couple days with them. A really great read. I would highly recommend it. But yeah, so like I said, Rance Mullenix, you know, comes out of out of the uh, first envelope here in my mailbox today. Besides the Snyder card, of course. Moving right along. This one actually got postmarked upside down, so it didn't end up canceling. Well, technically the stamp is canceled out because uh, those new style stamps there, like those really cannot be used again if they're not canceled out, but this one actually got a postmark on it right there. As you see, Santa Clarita, California. And so, I guess, I remember I actually looked this one up earlier as to who it most likely was, and now it's complete. Oh yeah, Russ Cortnall, I believe. Hockey player. We'll see if I'm right on that one. And indeed, that is Russ Cortnall. Three cards right there from him. All right, and so we have one more, also not postmarked. So no idea who it is or where it's coming from, but I guess we'll find out. It actually has my letter folded up around it as well. Yep. Sometimes I sort of write a short note at the bottom of the letter or something like that. Nothing there, but uh, this one is former Cleveland Browns running back Cleo Miller. So there you go. So some football, some baseball, and some hockey all in the box today. So heck of a uh, heck of a return day right there. Once again, if you want to figure out how to get some of these yourself and get yourself some free autographs, check out everything there at sportscardforum.com.